okay let's now go ahead and implement the record deletion flow and again we'll start with the controller so yeah let's go ahead and define a method called destroy and here again we are following the resourceful draw convention so yeah let's go ahead and define that destroy method and here we can use the root model binding to grab the student model and here we will just delete that and redirect to the index page so yeah that's done let's now go ahead and implement this on our front end so on our index dot view here we have the delete button and when they click on this then we will execute a function and to that function we'll pass the id that we are currently iterating and from there we'll just use the form helper to make a delete request to our backend so yeah let's go ahead and do that so when we click on this we just want to call a method called delete student and to this we also want to pass the id of the student so let's go ahead and pass that and let's go ahead and define this so on the script section let's define the delete student method and to this method we will get the student id so i'll call that student id and here again we'll define a new form helper called delete form which is going to be a simple use form helper without any data so yeah we can use that and call that in here so we can do delete form dot delete and we want to make a request to the students dot destroy route so let's pass that and along with that we'll also pass the student id so let's pass that and what i also want to do here is i want to show a confirmation message that will be implemented using the simple confirmation dialog and just to prevent from accident record deletions so yeah this will just show a confirmation dialog and when they click on ok then we will go ahead and execute this block of code so yeah let's just go ahead and wrap this inside an if condition and here we will pass confirm which is a simple javascript dialog and we can say are you sure you want to delete the student and then we will go ahead and delete that by calling the delete form dot delete and we have the route as students dot destroy and we are passing the student id so yeah now uh, when we call this then we will be executing this destroy method and when that happens then we will just go ahead and delete that student and redirect to the index page so yeah let's go ahead and give this a try okay let's try to reload and for some reason this is giving us an error students index dot view does the file exist so i think we probably implemented something by mistake so let's go ahead and remove that and now this should work okay this still has some issues so let's try to inspect it and p is not a function so what's happening okay i think we need to pass an empty object to this or let's try to see what could be the possible issue and if this is the issue then we will go ahead and fix it later but let's see let's look into our implementation so we are calling delete student and we are passing the student dot id so yeah that looks good and on our use form let's go ahead and pass an empty object and let's reload okay so we don't have that error anymore so yeah that was the issue so we need to pass an empty object to this otherwise it will throw an error okay let's go ahead and give this a try now so when i click on delete then we will get this confirmation dialog and if i click on cancel nothing's gonna happen and notice that we are currently trying to delete this student with an id of one so let's go ahead and delete it click on ok and we are redirected back and as you can see the student id one is deleted so yeah this thing is working and in the next part we'll be looking at implementing the search functionality so yeah we'll be working on this in the next video